with the Alfa Romeo and in this update I think we're going to roll three things in just the one video so I'm not I don't feel like making three videos so we're going to have an update on the Alfa we're going to have a stash update and we'll have a mail call just throw in one video um, and the Alfa we got the engine primed in black and now we'll we need to uh, paint it um, aluminum color or steel color I haven't decided and detail paint everything on the uh, block so we got that we got the frame and gray primer we got the transmission and mount uh, put in place and the reason why I went ahead and put the transmission in is because we have brake rods that I have to put on the frame here <coughs> I go to the drum and I need the transmission in place uh, in order to um, uh, put the uh, brake rods on so uh, we got that done we got uh, this kit has turnable wheels and uh, normally I don't care whether they turn or not uh, normally I just glue them straight ahead I'm done with it but this time I thought well you know I might as well build it as intended and uh, put uh, uh, everything on like it should and uh, do my thing to make sure these work so uh, I did have to change uh, a little bit on how this was attached. The uh, steering box. Uh, the uh, let me get the instructions. It'll be easier to do it this way. Uh, the steering box here has a round pin on the end of it. At the end of that round pin, they made it into a half round, and that half round goes into the frame mount. And then, of course, you slide your arm on and then glue this into place. But it, it, it was so shallow, and in order not to get glue on this, I had to use such a small amount that I was afraid that this would eventually break off and not hold. So I thought, well, I don't, I don't like the way that is. That, that kind of sucks. So what I did is I, drew, I cut the pin off and drilled all the way through the steering box made this hole a little bigger and drilled all the way through the frame mount and ran a pin through a uh, rod a plastic rod I got it out of this pack right here it's a uh, number 217 rod in a tube assortment and I use this right here which I think is around a 16th a rod and use this as my pin and after drilling my holes all the way through those three pieces I just ran the pin right through and pinned it and the only glue I have on here is just a little bit on this side uh, and that's mainly to get the angle correct of the steering box because it has to get uh, it has to made up to the uh, firewall um, so I had to uh, just put just a little bit of glue to hold this in place. Once the firewall is in, then I'll glue it here, and um, it ain't going anywhere. But other than that, there's no glue uh, was used. It's just a press fit uh, pin I made, and uh, the steering works uh, pretty good. So that's the only change we had to make. Uh, so that's uh, the frame today. I hope to get the brake rods on. And then um, I got my paint in, which is the mica red, this dark red. So uh, it looks like it's metallic though, and I don't want this to be metallic because the paint on the real car wasn't metallic. So we're not that might not be able to use it. Uh, I can't get my mouth working this morning. I need more coffee. Uh, so I might go with this Italian red, the TSA. Might go with that instead. Uh, and we'll just use this for uh, something else down the road. But, uh, so I might uh, get this shot with the red today. Uh, because this is red plastic, I would normally hit this with a black primer, uh, then a, a dull coat, and then a gray primer, and then my body color, but... I figure since this comes molded in red, we're going over it with red. I'm not going to worry too much about bleed through. 
I will on the body though. On the body, I'll go ahead and do my a black primer, dull coat it, hit it with gray primer, and then it's TSA. But on the frame, I wasn't going to worry about it. All right, I only have uh, three kits, and uh, they're basically all the same kit, just different flavors of the same thing. So uh, the first one is uh, a kit that Landis just brought out. And that is the log hauler. Uh, this I got off of eBay. I didn't get it from Atlantis. It's funny because I had normally when I buy from Atlantis, I go directly to their website and just get it directly from Atlantis. And I had this in my cart, and I don't know why, but something told me, well, let me look on eBay, see how much they're going for. <coughs> so I got it on eBay, and this one with shipping was ten dollars less than the one. The reissue from Atlantis, so I thought, well, you know, if it was just a couple bucks, I would have just got it from Atlantis, but I figured 10 bucks, eh, I'm going to get this. So this is a 76 issue, I think. Yeah. And um, it's, it's other than being opened, it's, it's, everything's there. So I picked that up for uh, about 30 bucks delivered to my door. And then um, I picked up the, um, um, tanker truck I got that for about 30 bucks because it's missing the decals which I didn't care it's complete um, and I figure oh, okay it's missing the decals so what I can make my own and I, I wouldn't have made a Texaco truck anyway uh, probably it would uh, well not probably I will make it into a sun oil truck uh, and I'll just make my own decals so that's uh the story on that, but the lady took five bucks off because it was missing the decals. So I got this for about 30 uh, delivered to my door. Box is beat up, but who gives a shit? And it's a 76 too? 74. This is a 74 issue. So we got that. And then we got the uh, dump truck as well. And uh, I paid about 40 for that. So I got a decent deal on that. Let me get this. My table's not big enough for all three of these. So uh, this is uh, another 76. Yeah, 76. No, sorry. This is a 95. Yeah, this is a 95 issue. So this has uh, never been opened. And this one ran me 40 bucks plus shipping. So I paid about 45, 46 bucks. Wasn't too bad. So we got that. So the only thing I got left to do is the uh, steak truck. And then I'll have all, all the uh, trucks. I always thought these were cool. Uh, ever since the Tom Daniels beer wagon, I always liked the Mack truck. I always thought it was a cool truck. Uh, the way it's designed and stuff. So I uh, always wanted to get them. And I was uh, lazy on getting any of these kits. And when Atlantis came out with the reissue of the log truck, it kind of remind me to uh, uh, pick uh, these uh, Mack trucks up. So anyway, uh, I'll start looking for the steak truck and pick that up eventually. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. So those are the uh, three kits that I got uh, for our stash. And then uh, the mail call. I just got one card from uh, Frank Frizzo's uh, model cars. He sent me uh, two cards, and then, uh, oh, there's a sticker here somewhere. Right here. There's the sticker. So thanks, Frank, uh, for the card, and uh, thanks for the uh, kind of wor words on the back. Uh, very nice. And, uh, yeah, pretty cool. So I'll get a card out to you. I, I forgot all about it. Um, uh, Frank and I talked uh, earlier, and I told him I'd send the card down. I just completely forgot and uh, check his channel out. He does a lot of cool work. You can see by his card here, he does a lot of cool stuff. So, um, yeah, check uh, Frank's uh, channel out. Most of you are familiar with Frank. But in case you're new to the uh, modeling world of YouTube, then check his uh, channel out. Great channel. 
And I do believe that is it now. We talked about the uh, Alpha. We did our stash update. And we did our mail call. So I think we are good to go. Yep. All right. Take care. We'll see you.